to reproductive freedom in Wisconsin uh, and protecting our democracy. Um, we need to work together now. We have completed uh, a lengthy campaign and Wisconsinites have chosen to, to continue in the direction that we've been continuing in. Um, I look forward to working across the aisle uh, with Democrats and Republicans to move this state forward. We have an incredible opportunity right now to build on what has happened. We have a low unemployment rate in Wisconsin. We have a record surplus. Now is an opportunity to invest in our communities, to build safer and stronger communities across the state of Wisconsin. It's also an opportunity to strengthen our democracy. Um, for too long, there have been efforts to undermine the will of the voters, not only in Wisconsin, but in states across the country. Um, Wisconsin can be a leader. Wisconsin can be a model in showing how we can come back together after an election and rebuild and strengthen our democracy. Uh, we, I look forward to working again across the aisle with Democrats and Republicans to do that. Uh, I want to thank you all for, for joining us and I look forward to continuing to serve Wisconsinites for the next four years. Now I want to say uh, two other things. First, uh, I'm joined by my, my wonderful family here. I want to thank them for coming out here uh, and being part of this event uh, and of course for all their support. Um, I also want to thank uh, Eric Tony for running a hard fought race and for his service to the public. Uh, we will be continuing to work together uh, as we move forward. Uh, and uh, it was uh, a privilege to run a campaign where we focused on issues uh, and on what's in the best interests of the people of Wisconsin. So thank you all for being here. With that, I'm happy to open up to questions. There was a struggle in the last session to get any sort of uh, money for public safety and shared, shared revenue. I mean, aren't we just looking at more of the same for at least the next two years, probably the next uh, remainder of your second term? I mean, how do you overcome that? Can you overcome that? How do you start building bridges with Republicans who are just not interested in working with you? You know, I'm, I'm really optimistic about uh, the opportunity to see real investments in public safety in the next budget. Um, we're in a very different position than we were two years ago when we were um, in the midst of the, the major impacts from the pandemic. Um, right now, the state has uh, a huge record-breaking budget surplus. And, I, you know, I traveled around the state, and one thing I heard from Democrats and Republicans was about the importance of investing in our communities, investing in our schools, uh, but also investing in public safety. Um, that includes at, at DOJ investing in the critical work that we do through our Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, through our Office of School Safety, through our Division of Law Enforcement Services, and in other critical ways. Um, you know, one thing that I also talked about, and I know that the governor talked about during the campaign, was the importance of increasing shared revenue as well. Those are the dollars that go from state government to local government and fund critical local services, including local law enforcement. By increasing shared revenue, we can get resources to our community leaders and, and leaders across the state are asking for those resources. So I'm optimistic the legislature is going gonna, is gonna to hear that and uh, that we're going to be able to work together to, to increase investments in our communities. Attorney General, what's your number one top priority going into this second term? Uh, my top priority is public safety. It, it has been and always will be as Attorney General. Um, we have an opportunity right now to invest in our communities, as I, as I talked about. My Safer Wisconsin plan would put $115 million towards safer communities. Uh, I would like to see those kinds of investments. Increasing shared revenue uh, would be a critical step as well. Um, we will continue to advocate for common sense gun safety measures like universal background checks. It should not be the case in Wisconsin that you can sell guns out of the trunk of your car without having a background check conducted. So we're going to keep advocating for those changes as well. Um, but investing in our communities uh, is going to help us fight violent crime, it's going to help us uh, fight the opioid epidemic, and it will make our community safer. Are you still willing to work with Toronto like DA Tony in his position right now as the superintendent? Absolutely. I look forward to working together with him. We had a nice conversation uh, late last night, I guess it was early this morning, uh, where you know we, um, we talked about continuing to work together. Um, we have a shared interest in supporting the, the work that people are doing around the state uh, to, to support public safety. That was that was never a point of disagreement in our race. Uh, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to working together to, to ensure that our communities have the resources that they need. Wisconsin was predicted to be a good night for Republicans. Uh, could it go that way? And several other states as well. But what do you think are the difference makers for Democrats to win big? Yeah, you know, I saw somebody comment that it was one of the most uneven midterm elections that they had seen. In some states, Republicans did really well. In other states, Democrats did really well. Um, I, I think what, what we saw in this election was that people made decisions based on um, the, the particular choices they had and the issues that were in front of them. 
um, you know, it's 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 really unusual historically for the president's party to be as successful as Democrats were in this election in Wisconsin. We reelected Governor Evers. I was reelected, uh, and I think that that shows that voters uh, like the direction we are taking this state in, and they want to continue in that direction and build on the progress that we're making. How much of a factor do you think your uh, lawsuit to overturn the abortion ban was in bringing out the female voters? Uh, what, how do you think that factored into it? I assume you're going to continue to push forward with that lawsuit. Yeah, we're going to keep fighting to restore access to safe and legal abortion in Wisconsin. I think that that was a major factor in, in a number of elections around the country. Um, it impacted things in a couple ways. First, um, I think there are a lot of people who were motivated, uh, who either may not have turned out, but who did, or who registered to vote uh, for the first time. Um, I, I think that an, an election that is so unusual historically, where the, the president's party um, wins key races, like the governor's race and the AG's race, to me that sends a sign that voters uh, care about the, that issue and that they want uh, reproductive freedom restored in Wisconsin, and we're going to keep working to do that, and I hope that uh, we will see the legislature now take some action on that issue. Josh, you and Harris County are both from Fond du Lac County. Harris County did quite a bit better in the county. Um, why do you think that is? Well, you know, I think the, the patterns were fairly consistent with what you would see in a typical partisan race, and Fond du Lac County has, has leaned Republican. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. I'm privileged to have grown up there. Um, and, but, you know, this is a closely divided state, and uh, this election reflects it just as, as many elections have. But, uh, you know, ultimately, um, I'm proud that, that we were able to, uh, I would like to say, expand my margin from four years ago. Uh, but uh, it's all small numbers we're talking about here, and it's, it's good to, to keep moving forward in, in the state. All right, well, thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. News 3 Now is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alert, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now.